All right, we're gonna flush and descale the heat exchanger on the tankless domestic hot water side of a Navian NCB240 combi boiler. It's a it's a combi boiler. Uh, it's a hot water boiler and domestic hot water tankless water heater. So um, this is incoming cold city water um, to the tankless little filter here that we'll take out and clean and then hot domestic water is coming through this pipe. So to isolate the heat exchanger we're going to close these two valves. Um, I'm going to turn off the power to the unit so it doesn't try to call for heat and open these valves to drain any water in the heat exchanger. And then we're gonna hook up our pump here and flush it with vinegar. Okay, you fill up a clean five gallon bucket with three gallons of food grade, 5% distilled white vinegar. And it's acidic, so it cleans out the uh, lime and mineral deposits in the heat exchanger. You just take a little utility pump here, hook up washer, uh, clothes washer hoses to it. Drop it in the bucket. Make sure your valves are open. And make sure you got your discharge the discharge pipe going back in to the bucket and we'll turn on the pump. Now that float doesn't work very well. We'll see what and this is just gonna run continuously for 45 minutes to an hour. And you wanna do this <clears throat> every year. Some people do it twice a year. Uh, I installed this year and a half ago, so I haven't done this yet. And uh, don't look like it's it's real dirty yet, but it probably takes a while for the, for the acid to eat that those deposits away. Um, so we'll We'll close this back up, be back in an hour, and then we're gonna flush the boiler side, the boiler heat exchanger. I'll show you what we're actually flushing here. So the cold water comes in through the pipe on the right, the blue handle uh, brass line, goes through that filter, and comes up here, goes through that black pipe, turns into the elbow, and then in the back there is our single plate heat exchanger, the one with the Everon on it. So it goes through that heat exchanger and then comes out the back on that little uh, brass elbow, gets heated up and comes out here. So on the other side, the boiler water is going through that, uh, that top pipe there going through the heat exchanger. It's a single wall heat exchanger and then it's coming out on the bottom. So it's it's heating the domestic hot water that way. All right, this is after an hour, basically. It, it doesn't look like a whole lot of stuff in there. Um, water's maybe a little dirtier and, and some sediment that came out, but uh, good thing to do anyway. So now we are going to shut the pump off. A strainer that catches any debris from the city water supply gasket on there that seals it. Navian also gives you a couple o-rings, spare o-rings. So here we go, here's the filter. Yeah, that's definitely got some some stuff in it too. Just some sediment and stuff from the plumbing. Some of the copper and flux and stuff from copper water lines, so we'll flush that out. Do a couple other maintenance things on this 
boiler here today too. So this is uh, the condensate drain trap here. And you pull that little pin out. Hard to do with one hand. Try to catch some of the, some of the water that comes out here. But you pull this down. And that's all the condensate water that collects uh, in the trap here. And it look at all the look at all the gunk in there. It's it's pretty nasty. So we'll clean that out, and that's good to do. I've done that a couple times on this boiler already. Uh, that's a good thing to do. And then we also have this cold water inlet okay since we drain that condensate trap we have to fill it back up with water and there's a little plug here and here's a little in inlet and I already uh, filled it up to the top with water and now I'm injecting some bleach into there and this is a good idea to do for any high efficiency condensing furnace or boiler um, it just it cleans out these condensate lines which get filled with mold and uh, gunk all the you know quite frequently so and you put this little put the little cap back on there and I put the the clip back on there and the, the cold water inlet filter which was really constricted there's little hairs in there um, and a bunch of debris and gunk, I actually had to take a toothbrush and clean that out. So that wants to be cleaned out uh, pretty frequently. So I got the pump off of there, turned off the cold water uh, hose bib there, and still have this hose hooked up. Now I'm going to open up the cold city water supply and just flush, flush um, some water through the heat exchanger so it removes all that vinegar. Now we are going to flush the boiler heat exchanger. Alright, isolate valves um, go into the system. Put on your pump on the cold water side, outlet on the hot water supply side, and open this little valve. And that should drain Drain the boiler, I gotta introduce air here. Open this side, hopefully siphon will only let it, yep. Just glugging out a little bit. And I do have some uh, boiler flush in the uh, boiler water. Works good to clean out the system, um, and you just leave it in there. It, it It's a corrosion inhibitor. It cleans out the boiler itself. It cleans out any antifreeze and gunk in the line. Um, so I don't have, I don't know if I got a bottle here, but it's like a Hercules boiler flush um, and conditioner. So you just leave that in your boiler, and boiler water, you... you fill this system and then you never drain it. You want to keep that same water in there because it, it gets oxygen in depleted and you don't want to introduce new fresh water with oxygen um, to the boiler because oxygen will corrode the heat exchanger and corrode the copper and components faster. Alright, so we're going to call that good. up our pump, put our hose back into here, and turn on the pump. So I'm, I'm using the same vinegar. Uh, it was pretty clean, you know, from the first doing the, the water heater side. Now I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be a lot dirtier. There's going to be a lot more crud 
and junk in the in the uh, space heating side of the boiler. Um, and that's what I talked to Navian, and they said, do the do the domestic hot water side first. It's going to be cleaner, and then and then do the space heating side. So same program here. We're letting this run for 60 minutes uh, with three gallons of vinegar, and it's going to flush and flush. I forgot to say earlier that this this heat exchanger for the domestic hot water side it's stainless steel so is the main heat secondary heat exchanger so and that's isolated the, the water hot water that you're washing your hands with is totally separate in that heat exchanger from the space heating side be back in an hour okay well that's the product it's uh quite a bit of, of stuff in there and uh, so it's good we did it Next step, so disconnected the pump and everything. What else I'm gonna do here is that little white plug is um, a screen for the, for the space heating side. So you take this little clip off here and turn this little deal there and that drains the pump. So that drains some water out of the system. And this is a, an inlet filter, or just a, a filter strainer, they call it. And you got a little shower. Should have let it drain more. Okay, so this is a this is a filter, basically a screen, just to prevent any big particles from getting in the heat exchanger. So we'll clean that out. Okay, got the plugs back in. Last step is to flush the heat exchanger with just water. So I got a hose hooked up from the cold water side there, looping over to this um, the space heating cold water side with a discharge in the bucket. So we'll. Open that up and flush. Navian says to do this for five minutes actually. Look at that. So you want all that vinegar out of there and this flushes the rest of the contaminants and the debris out of there with just water. So we'll let that run. All right, thanks for watching guys. Got any questions on this system, let me know because I installed this thing myself. I know everything about it. So uh, it's a great system. Thanks.